Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for our main event. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division between Mike Tyson and Tommy Morrison. Mike Tyson's had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. Tommy Morrison's really keyed in for this one. You can see it as he makes his walk to the ring. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. A headshot block. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Tommy Morrison. Tyson's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. You see what happened? He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should really tie up now. He got to him. He hurt him there. Tommy Morrison's opponent is trying to smother him, but instead, he's pushing him away, trying to land a big shot. And he's lucky he's getting away with it, Joe, that the referee's not warning him for this. Turns the favor with a right hand of his own. Teddy, a prime Mike Tyson here has so many KO1s sprinkled across his record. Do you expect those kind of fireworks early on here? Yeah, for a couple reasons. He understands the history. He's a history student. He likes the legacy. He wants to be like Jack Dempsey. All those fighters of the past where. And all of a sudden, the tables turn. Tommy Morrison's rocked. What's good for you is good for him. I think most people would probably figure if we were to make a checklist of the advantages and disadvantages you want in a fighter, superior hand speed would definitely be a big advantage. But you've trained many a guy who's been up against the guy with better hand speed. What have you told them? I've told them that that's only one dimension. That's only one thing. Turn that against them. Make it a kind of place where they can't use it. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. A clean, crisp right. He is damaged bad. Oh, and there you go. Oh, and he goes down after that punch. And it's been long over, too. He's been leaving an opening all night. Morrison's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Okay, Let it go. That's a momentum changer upstairs. Get out of there. Keep moving. Get out there. Counter punched by Mike Tyson. And I love the way he delivered that, Teddy. Yeah, he's using his feet to set up his offense. You don't always see that, but you see it there. Hey! 
Keep your hands up. How about that exchange? Digging in with a left to the gut. Just like that, just like that. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth brawl like that? Move your head, keep your hands up, you know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you gotta give him a little confidence. Remind him, hey, we trained for a tough fight, you're ready for this. Okay, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, count him. You have to double to A new round underway here. Morrison's hoping that he doesn't make a defensive ball like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see as hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. And he just turns that hook up top and it does damage. Tyson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Little head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. Oh! Morrison's got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. He brings it downstairs with the hook. Able to bring the hook down low. He just smashed him with that power punch. That'll teach him to be aggressive with a tall fighter. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game. What a big shot. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Stopping this fight, Tyson's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. Mike Tyson's able to come up with a shocker here out of nowhere early on a knockout victory and does it with one